Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on maximal and minimal elements in Fawcett ORR, maximal and minimal elements in Hussey diagram with example problem that can be explained in this video. In the previous videos, we have already discussed about what is lattice, what are the types of lattices and what are the special type of lattices that can be explained with the example problems in the previous videos. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my channel. So the channel name is Divvela Srinivas Rao. Okay, now in this video, we have to discuss about what is maximal element when we can say that an element is called as maximal element and what is minimal element when we can say that an element is called as a minimal element with one example problems. Okay, first of all, uh, what is maximal element and what is minimal element? Okay, so before going to the uh, definition of maximal and minimal element, first we have to check this example. Okay, here a comma less than or equal to is a four set. Here A is a finite set that contains two elements 1 and 2. Here the relation is less than or equal to that can be defined on the elements of set A. It satisfies three properties. One is a reflexive property and another one is a, a anti-symmetric property and another one is a transitive property. So whenever it satisfies these three properties, we can say that A less than or equal to B A poset. Okay. Now in the Hussey diagram, we are always concentrate the relation between the elements in upward direction okay from bottom to top that is upward direction okay downward direction is always a wrong relation in Hussey diagram hence we can say that we are always concentrate on from bottom to top direction that means upward direction okay so for example I am taking element 1 okay so 1 less than or equal to 1 1 less than or equal to 1 yes it is a true relation okay next one a uh, 1 less than or equal to 2 yes this is also a true relation okay next one 2 less than or equal to 2 this is also a true relation but 2 less than or equal to 1 this is a false relation because 2 less than or equal to 1 is a downward relation. Okay. Downward relation is not possible in Hussey diagram. We are always check for the upward direction. Okay. 1 less than or equal to 1. Yes. Condition is true. Okay. This relation is true. 1 less than or equal to 2. This relation is also true. 2 less than or equal to 2. This relation is also true. Okay. But 2 less than or equal to 1 is a false relation. Okay. In the Hussey diagram, we do not concentrate on downward relation. Okay. That is 2 less than or equal to 1. This is a downward relation. So the downward relation is always a false relation. We do not consider that relation. We are always concentrate on upward direction relations. Upward direction relations. Okay. So, 2 less than or equal to 1 is a false relation. Okay. What are the true relation? 1 less than or equal to 1. 1 less than or equal to 2. 2 less than or equal to 2 are the true relations. But 2 less than or equal to 1 is a false relation. Okay. So, this type of relations cannot be possible in Hussey diagram. Okay. Now, so this is the very, very important point in Hussey diagram. 
the same condition is also used in maximal and minimal elements okay so now here i am taking another example so that is here so this is this is the hasse diagram 1 2 3 4 okay we are always concentrate on upward direction that is a uh, one less than or equal to one same relation one less than or equal to one yes it is correct one less than or equal to two yes it is correct two less than or equal to three yes it is correct three less than or equal to four yes it is also correct okay so whatever the relationship between the uh, elements of set a are always in upward direction okay 4 less than or equal to 3 okay it is a false relation okay 3 less than or equal to 2 it is a false relation 2 less than or equal to 1 it is a false relation but 1 less than or equal to 2 is a true relation 2 less than or equal to 3 it is a true relation 3 less than or equal to 4 is also a true relation but 4 less than or equal to 3 is a false relation 3 less than or equal to 2 is a false relation 2 less than or equal to 1 is a false relation okay so this is very very important point keep in mind okay now let us consider so a less than or equal to b a four set b a four set okay because uh a is a finite set on that finite set this is the relation we have to perform on the elements of set a this relation is performed it satisfies three properties reflexive anti symmetric and transitive hence we can say that a comma less than or equal to b a four set now small a is an element this element belongs to capital a okay here small a is called as a maximal element is called as a maximal element if it is not related to any other element of set a okay if it is not related to any other elements of set a any other elements of set a so set a then small a is called as a maximal element okay now consider this example and this example we have to check what is the maximal element okay so consider this hasse diagram okay so one is related with one okay one is related with two okay but two is not related to any other element of set a okay two is not related to any other element of set a because uh, after two no element is there hence we can say that 2 is not related to any other element of set a hence here 2 is called as a maximal element 2 is called as a maximal element in this hasse diagram what is the maximal element 2 is called as a maximal element okay next in this hasse diagram what is the maximal element okay here a uh, one is related with two okay that means one less than or equal to two next two is related with three that is two less than or equal to three three is related with four that is three less than or equal to four but element four does not related to any other element of set a okay four is not related with three four is not related with two Four is not related with one. Hence, we can say that so four is called as a maximal element. Four is called as a maximal element. Okay. 
So, when we can say that an element small a belongs to capital A is called as a maximal element if it is not related to any other element of set A. Hence, we can say that A is called as a maximal element. Here, capital A contains four elements. Okay, capital A contains four elements. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, here I am taking element four. Four belongs to capital A. Now, four is called as a maximal element. Okay. 4 is not related to any other element of set A. 4 is not related with 3. 4 is not related with 2. 4 is not related with 1. Hence, we can say that 4 is called as a maximal element. Okay. In this case, set A contains set of 1, 2. Here, 2 is called as a maximal element. Okay, it is not related to any other element of set A. Okay, 2 is not related with 1. That means 2 less than or equal to 1. It is a false. Hence, we can say that 2 is a maximal element. Okay, next, another definition for maximal element is, so an element small a, so here small a is called as 4. Okay, so... An element small a is called as a maximal element if and only if it has no immediate successor. Okay, here the element 4 does not have any successor in upward direction. Okay, element 4 does not have any successor in upward direction. Hence, we can say that element 4 is called as a maximal element. Now, in this example, element 2 does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. Hence, we can say that element 2 is called as a maximal element. Okay. Next, another definition. Okay. An element uh, 4 is called as a maximal element in Hussey diagram. So, there is no vertex leaving from that, there is no edge leaving from that a vertex in upward direction. Okay, from the vertex 4, there is no edge leaving from the uh, vertex 4 in upward direction. So, that type of vertex or that type of element is called as a maximal element. Okay, there is no edge coming out of vertex 4 in upward direction. Hence, we can say that element 4 is called as a maximal element. Okay. Next, in this Hussey diagram, node 2 or element 2 is called as a maximal element. There is no edge coming out of vertex 2 in upward direction. Okay. Hence, we can say that element 2 is called as a maximal element. Okay. So, this is the three definitions of maximal element with two example problems. Okay. The first definition, let a comma less than or equal to be a poset. Okay. Small a is an element. That element belongs to set a. Small a is called as maximal element if it is not related to any other element of set A. Okay. In this Hussey diagram, element 2 is not related to any other element of set A. Okay. 2 is not related to 1. Hence, we can say that element 2 is called as a maximal element. Okay. Next. In this, uh, in this example, element 4 is called as a maximal element. This element does not relate to any other element of set A. 4 not, is not related with 3. 4 is not related with 2. 4 is not related with 1. Hence, we can say that 4 is called as a maximal element according to the first definition. And the second definition, an element small a belongs to capital A is called as a maximal element 
if it has no immediate successor in upward direction here element 2 in this example element 2 does not have any immediate successor in upward direction hence we can say that element 2 is called as a maximal element in this example element 4 does not have any immediate successor in upward direction hence we can say that element 4 is called as a maximal element okay so this is the example for second definition and a third definition in Hussey diagram a vertex 2 is in Hussey diagram a vertex is called as a maximal element if it is uh, no edge coming out of that vertex hence we can say that that vertex is called as maximal element this is the third definition example in this Hussey diagram vertex 2 is called as a maximal element because there is no edge coming out of that vertex uh, in upward direction hence we can say that 2 is called as a maximal element next in this example uh, element 4 is called as a maximal element because there is no edge coming out of vertex 4 in upward direction hence we can say that element 4 is called as a maximal element okay so this is the summary of maximal element